What's up everybody? I thought I'd do my first tutorial video on my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to replace the belt in your old Hoover Elite. As you can see right here, I've got my Hoover Elite 2 6.0 that you've probably seen in my previous video of the overview of the machine and first test run. And upon looking at that video, I did notice that as I stop one real quickly to see if the the brush roll be so powerful to pull itself forward to basically to test how good the belt was it actually stalled out by the time it stood still so that's probably a good indication that you've got a stretched belt and it might need to be re replaced so I thought I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now now how you do this is you're going to have to take the bottom plate off right here and to do that you are going to have to pry these latches away down here on on the base of the vacuum which is really easier said than done and I might need to use two hands to do it Pry this down. Don't worry about br about breaking it. Although I do try to be delicate because this is an all plastic machine. See there, just like that. Then your whole bottom comes off. And then what you will need to do next is remove the whole hood assembly up top here. Now you will have to take off the little knob for the carpet height adjustment. You will have to, pro to pull up on the side of the machine and there are some clips that are going to come undone. And once again, this is very hard to do one-handed. Hold the camera at the same time. Let me, let me set my camera down. There like that. Get the other side. Come on. I'm trying to get this last guy off. Come on. Sometimes it's best to tilt the vacuum down and pop the rest, pop it off this way. Hey, this is a nice little stubborn latch right here. Look, there it is. Once you get it free, just take off that whole hood, and there's your old belt. And I'm, I have a hunch that this might be the original belt that came with the machine because. It does look like a genuine Hoover belt. But anyway, just pull your brush roll out and take off your belt. Just gives you a good idea to look inside the vacuum here. One thing you do want to do is you want to make sure that your bumper is still in place because sometimes these like these like to wear off and your bumper can tend to come loose well at least on this particular hood style for the elite all right so let me get up into my closet to find my spare belt all right, here it is all right, oops. okay then again i'll just use the one i just dropped i'm going to set this back in here so So here's the belt I'm going to use. Now, you're going to want to wrap it around the brush roll right here. And you're going to want to fish the belt down into this little, into this little slot right here. 
I'm sorry for the shaky camera. It's hard to do this one-handed. Once that's in, oops, that was a nice move. But just fish the belt down in like so. And then come back up here. You will have to stretch it back. Once again, it's always nice to have a screwdriver. And just, just, oops. You just stretch it on back until you get it to grab a hold of the shaft. And that's how you change the belt on this thing. Now, The next thing you gotta do is put everything back in place. Let's go ahead and put the bottom plate back on. It latches up top here. Oops, make sure it's on straight. And then it latches. And let's go ahead and recline the vacuum down. And then we'll put the hood back on. Once again, just like before, it just latches right in place and there you go then just put your carpet height knob back on and that was that you have just changed the belt on your old Hoover Elite you won't need be needing this anymore so Good thing I have the cord unraveled. So, plug it in with its brand new belt. Let's go ahead and test it out. Sounds way better. Look at that, I don't know if you can see, but it's slowly propelling itself forward. So that was how to change the belt on your old Hoover Elite. This will apply for any Elite, the whether it be an old Elite 2 like this, an Elite 350, 600, Legacy, Elite Supreme, etc. So I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope this has helped fix your Elite. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.